Hey guys, what's going on? This is that Windows Dev or BitesizeTech.net, and in today's video, I'm going to be responding to a few of your comments that you left on my YouTube videos. Before we get into the video, I want to give you guys a big thank you. I recently reached 200 subscribers this week, and I want to thank you guys for that, as well as liking and commenting on all of my videos. I want to let you guys know that your opinion really does matter with me, and I want you guys to keep liking, subscribing, and commenting on all of my videos. With that being said, let's get right into it. All right, the first comments from somebody named Skyliner. Skyliner said, sadly, as soon as my contract's up, I'm going back to Android. In my opinion, Microsoft isn't going to advertise Windows Phone or Surface Phone, and I think it'll mainly be for business use. He also said that he thinks Microsoft is just a bunch of kids running around doing whatever the hell they want jumping from one project to another without actually finishing anything. First off, I want to tell you I completely understand where you're coming from and why you feel this way about the Surface Phone as well as Windows Phone. After being with Microsoft for so long, I won't deny the fact that Microsoft doesn't always promote Windows Phone as much as they should, but that doesn't mean you should jump ship. I think Microsoft's going to promote the Surface Phone when it comes out, not just because it's a Windows Phone, but because the Surface Phone also represents the Surface Line. As for you saying Microsoft jumps from project to project without finishing anything, I want to respond by letting you know how many projects Microsoft's actually working on at one time. We're working on HoloLens, Windows phones, tablets, universal software, and a lot more. And it doesn't help that Microsoft let go of so many people that were working on Windows phone in the first place. The next comment's from a guy named Corey Carter. Corey said, I've been rocking the Lumia 640 for a minute and wanted to upgrade to a Lumia 950. But since Microsoft stopped Lumia production, is it even worth getting a Lumia 950 now? You know, even though Microsoft stopped Lumia production, I don't think they'll stop supporting Lumias for a long time, especially the Lumia 950. I recommend you get the Lumia 950 because it's one of the best Windows phones out right now. The next comments by a guy named David Jackson. David said, the Surface Phone will be a singular high-end phone like the iPhone, but sadly it won't make any kind of impact in the mobile space. A few diehards like me will buy the phone and it'll be more of a novelty than anything serious, or rather only serious to those that like Windows Phone. I get that Microsoft aren't or might not be bothered about market share or anything and I get that. I just want them to show or say something that shows a bit more of a long-term commitment to mobile. Otherwise, why should I or any other devs bother investing time and knowledge in a dead technology? Good or bad, I don't care what Microsoft's strategy is. I'd just like to know what it actually is, if they even have one. Speculation does me no favors. I really like your comment, David, and I want to make sure that you know the Surface Phone's already a big deal and that it will make an impact in the mobile space. In order for it to make that revolutionary impact it needs to convert iPhone and Android users, the Surface Phone needs good hardware, it needs to have a stable operating system, and it has to be promoted by Microsoft the way companies promote their phones. You made a good point about wanting to know if Microsoft has a strategy for Windows Phone, and to be honest with you, it doesn't look like we have a strategy for Windows Phone, but I'm sure that there is one. I can't really explain it, but Microsoft keeps the Windows Phone community on their toes with things like this because every time bad news hits the internet, people tend to think Windows Phone is dying and not knowing the plan for Windows Phone plays a big part in that. But at the same time, this brings hope to the Windows Phone community because right when people start assuming bad things, a new update, a new feature, or a new phone is announced or released and it gives us hope again. I like to know Microsoft's plan, but if we knew everything about the plan for Windows Phone, we wouldn't be as excited because we'd expect new phones and updates rather than being surprised and excited when they put them out. Hey guys, I'm sorry if I didn't get to your comment in this video. There wasn't enough time for me to respond to everybody's comment, but I promise I'll respond in the next video. As always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. This is That Windows Dev with BitesizeTech.net, and thanks for watching.